Welcome back guys and gals to another Fallout 76 video. This is going to be a build guide video for a particular build that I've had a lot of fun with and if you watch my channel you've seen this uh, showcase in many ways uh, unknowingly perhaps and that is the uh, Mr. Handy Buzzsaw build. Um, I've used this in many of my other videos whether it's just filler footage that I put in the background or some of my streams with beeps. This is uh, a weapon that I've used a lot and I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun and if you do the build right you can make it quite uh, overpowered um, now I'm certainly not going to sit here and say that this is the best melee build out there I'm quite certain there are others that are far better than this um, super sledgehammer legendary type weapons this doesn't really even take into effect legendary weapon enhancements that would certainly help with this so if you happen to, to find one um, that would be you know just that would just enhance this and make it that much better but the purpose of this video is just to provide a guide that basically everyone can do it doesn't require you to farm for legendary type weapons and as I said this is by no means a video of me trying to say that this is the best build out there at all this is just a particularly fun build I think and it actually is quite effective which makes it that much more fun so first you're going to need to acquire the weapon itself if you already do that's great um, it's not max level that kind of sucks and you can use this here's a location I used to farm it it's a location that has a dynamic weapon spawn on it and all that means is just fancy talk for a melee weapon appears in the world not in like a container but actually in the world itself you know on an object whether it be like a counter or in this case it's on a bench so you don't need to use this location if there's other locations you know of that have dynamic melee spots on them you could potentially farm those as well but this is a surefire one because I actually found it so um, you can just use this if you want but as you can see here at the palace of the winding path just south of it here um, where I my uh, little cursor reticle thingy is at and it's just kind of north the top of the world you know here's Morgantown if you go south of here this is the location that I want you to go to because this location has a spot a dynamic spot for a melee weapon which spawns in the world here which is right here on this bench now in this particular instance it's a drill the bench there is basically where you want to go and check to see if the mr. buzzsaw blade has spawned there now you're not going to have it spawn every single time it's randomized well if you did I guess it'd be pretty cool but the world is supposed to randomize it so essentially what you have to do is just hop onto a server run down here and check if it's not there don't pick it up don't touch it um, leave it because if you pick it up then it's going to not spawn again for a certain amount of time I'm not sure if it's 24 hours or just when the server resets but you just don't want to touch it if it's not the mr. handy buzzsaw blade so run down here there's some old people and stuff here you can either kill them every single time or just run down and check it I started off killing them and it took me quite a while personally to get this uh, I'm sure it's just it's random it just depends on your luck uh, just keep farming here just keep quitting out uh, joining a new server until it spawns for you and then you can pick it up and then it's okay as an alternative to this if you have the plan of it already and you need to craft it but you're not sure where to get the mr. handy fuel and you're just fresh out of it because let's be honest it's not that common at least I should say for me it's not if you need to find a dynamic spot on the map similar to the dynamic spawn for the melee weapon here is a location that is a surefire guarantee to get it unless you've you know picked it up recently in which case you'll have to wait for like I said the server to restart or whatever the internal timer is but it's over here by the horn right uh, purifier air purifier area number three uh, located in the mire not the mire is it the mire I think this is the mire location in the south southwest location of the map and if you just come over to it there's a locked door but it's zero level skill so you don't need any perk cards or anything just pick the lock and to your right you will find the mr. handy fuel which you can then use to craft your mr. handy bus saw so now that you have what you need we're going to go over the perk cards you're going to need for the small crafting aspect of this that this is whether you're crafting crafting the weapon from scratch or whether you already have one so if you're crafting it from scratch keep in mind you're going to need to have the makeshift warrior level 5 because the mr. handy buzzsaw is a level is a tier 5 uh, melee weapon 
potion so you're gonna have to have that at level five in order to uh, craft it but the perk card that is absolutely critical to this build is the weapon artisan you're gonna want this maxed out you don't need it maxed out technically but to really take advantage of this build you're gonna want it maxed out and it allows you to repair any weapon at 200% of its normal condition and that is super important because whether this is meant to be in the game or not there's I'm not sure if you want to call it a bug or a feature where if you over repair a melee item it actually increases the damage quite drastically it basically doubles it so you by having that perk maxed out to level three you are allowed to then increase the damage of your weapon by another hundred percent essentially now I have no perk cards on right now that uh, modify damage for melee or anything because I want to have a nice kind of baseline uh, to show you what the increases in damage once you over repair this thing so as you can see without the without any perk cards whatsoever the mr. handy buzzsaw is doing a base damage of 13 and then it has a damage energy and uh, damage modifier of 18 so now that's because I have a mod on it the electrified mod this is something you can get from vendor bots as far as I know I can't remember exactly where I got mine and I wasn't able to recreate recreate where to get it for you guys it's not essential but it really does add to this build because it adds that much more damage to it so you've got a, a modifier of a base modifier of 13 ballistic and 18 electrical now if that's with it pretty much fully repaired now if I go ahead and repair it and I get that extra 100% to it so it's over repaired look how it jumps the electrified uh, the electric damage doesn't jump but the ballistic jumps from that 13 to 40 now so now now we're starting to see what the the positive effects of this build are because and this is why you need that perk card the weapon artisan uh, perk card because 13 damage yeah that's not really that much at all and you're gonna see it and you're gonna use it and say wow this kind of sucks this why is this weapon in the game but with that weapon artisan perk and over repairing it to 200 percent you get that extra ballistic damage which then things start to really come together here so now if we go to some of these other perk cards that you're gonna want to have uh you're gonna need a two-handed modifier uh the two-handed modifier damage perk card so the slugger perk cards basically so and now if you pick up each one and max it out um, it starts at 10% damage and it goes up by five. So you're better off to get all three before you start going up. So you don't want to max one out to three and then go to the next one. You're better off getting one, two, and three if you're high enough level to have unlocked them, that is. And each one will give you an extra 10%. So the other perk card I have, which takes up some of these slugger perk cards, which I find useful, is the incisor perk card. And that allows you to ignore a certain percentage of your enemy's uh, armor, which is quite helpful because that's where this build really starts to kind of falter is when you're dealing with enemies that are pretty Pretty bulky and pretty armored super mutants for whatever reason seem to be a bit more of a pain for this build but if you have that incisor per card it really helps to add with that I find that the trade-off in damage from having two extra uh, points on the slugger perk card was well worth the trade-off for having the incisor perk card so now you can see if we look at the damage now for the uh, mr. handy buzzsaw with all those perk cards and such now we have a ballistic base damage of 56 and 25 on the electric damage that it's doing or the energy damage I shouldn't say electric it's energy sorry for that so now we're up to 80 which is now now we're starting to get somewhere because when you attack with this thing obviously it has a very fast attack rate and just just as way uh, uh, as a way of an example if I take uh, this which is the instigate instigating grognax grognax axe words they're tough today which is essentially swings about as fast as a super sledgehammer I just don't have one you know on hand that does 168 now this does double damage if at full health because it's a legendary and such but kind of ignoring that um, you know this is almost fully repaired and it does about 168 so it does about half it does uh, sorry twice the damage but look how slow the swing rate is on it so the fun part about the mr handy buzzsaw you know weapon if you soup it up like we've done is that it attacks so much quicker and that 80 damage that you're doing is just clipping off there every you know every rotation of the blade I'm not entirely sure what the DPS is on this you know maybe I could try to test it out and see but it's pretty darn fast because when you go to use it and I have some footage of it in action in action um, you can just see how it it just takes down the health really really quickly another useful perk card that you could use is adrenaline it's under the agility a special a perk card and once again it's not required but it just it adds to this build and this allows you to 
get damage bonuses after you kill an enemy, which is very helpful because this build I find is best with like mob control. So you have a lot of enemies and you want to get rid of them quickly. If you have a sledgehammer or whatever, it swings kind of slow. It can be a bit of a pain when you've got like 15 ghouls around you, for example, if you're farming white springs. This I find is very particularly effective with all those enemies because of just how fast the, uh, the DPS is on it. So once you start killing enemies, the adrenaline adds damage, overall damage. So I just have it at level one here because I just started using it. I kind of didn't even realize it was a thing until recently. But if you get it to max, you're getting basically, I think it's 10% uh, bonus damage per kill that you get up to, I think it's six enemies you can kill. So at level one, you can max it out at 36% extra damage for 30 seconds, which is great. And then if you have it, the perk card maxed out, um, you're gonna get, I believe it'd be about 60%. So that's a huge increase in damage, which is obviously just gonna add to the effectiveness of any build you're doing, but in, in particular this one. Now it's important to keep in mind that as your weapon starts to degrade, the damage is gonna go down. So you can't repair your weapon as far as I know. You can't repair it until it gets beyond the extra con the extra condition that it has from the over repairing you have to wait for it to actually get rid of all that and to start taking away from the standard conditioning once you get to that point then you could repair it again and get the damage back so it might be more advantageous to and once you start to get low on the conditioning on the on this weapon but you can't actually repair it yet it might be beneficial to just kind of take it somewhere where there's you know some low level enemies or whatever take off your perk cards like the makeshift warrior which actually increases conditioning you know take that off and just kind of run the thing down until you can actually repair it again and get that damage up you know if you're gonna go say like farm a nuke zone or something and you want all the t you know the potential damage you could get um, the other thing you could do is just keep crafting them um, because it sometimes could be worth it instead of trying to wear the thing down and then re-repair it is you could just craft another one when you need the extra damage uh, as I said if you're if you're gonna take on some high-level enemies and you want to have the max amount of damage possible with that being said though once you have it at full condition and you're getting the max amount of damage you want to prolong the life of that as much as possible right so you're gonna want to have something like the makeshift warrior perk card maxed out so you're getting 50% uh, less degradation on that weapon and another perk card that is very handy which I would highly recommend is the luck of the draw perk card and I guess you don't have to max this out increasing the rank doesn't increase the chance of it but it increases the amount of repair that it's going to apply to your weapon so it's up to you how much you want to invest in this I have it maxed out because I find that that's just best for me but this perk card allows you to have a slight chance uh, to repair your weapon while using it uh, and hitting an enemy so the Mr. Handy Buzzsaw uh, benefits from this quite a bit because you're constantly hitting enemies because it has such a high DPS so you're gonna have a high chance a higher chance to for the weapon to actually repair itself and that's pretty helpful with a weapon like this because like I said you want to maintain that condition as much as possible because then you're getting the max amount of damage for it so that should just about do it I think I've got all the information out I wanted to share about this build I apologize if this is a bit longer I try to make my videos as concise as possible because as someone who watches a lot of YouTube videos I know it's annoying when people take a very simple concept and purposely string it out just like so they get more view time and such I'm not purposely doing that I guess you have to take me at my word but um, I can ramble a bit I know but I, I just wanted to try to get this uh, this video so that it has all the information that I thought that was necessary for you guys uh, to fully take advantage of this build I'd love to hear what you guys are doing with your various builds uh, so sound off in the comments down below with what you're running because I think the different builds and the different perk card combinations are one of the things that will uh, help keep this game fresh especially right now where the the content hasn't quite been coming out it's just been mostly updates fixing stuff so love to hear what you guys are doing maybe it's something I could try too and uh, yeah so let me know down in the comments below I will leave you with just some footage and some music uh, me just showcasing what this uh, weapon is capable of so if you want to stick around for that that's great if not uh, thank you for watching thank you for your support if you like this video uh, I appreciate it if you would leave a like uh, if you want to see more videos like this subscribe um, this is the only build video I've done so far I do have some other ideas for other builds so depending on how well this does uh, I might do more so if you want to see more hit the like button and uh, show your support because then I'll know and if this, if this video doesn't do that well well then this will maybe be just a one and done so again thank you for your support and I'll see you in the next installment